Hey guys, it's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. So back in February of this year, I had a thermography scan done. And if you're not familiar with that, I'm not the expert on it, but I'll try to just cover it very briefly. What a thermography scan is, is it's where they have this very sophisticated camera that's able to measure different temperatures on your body. And what that is able to show is areas where you have inflammation and areas where you may need to address a problem before things like cancer have a chance to develop. I wanted to do this for a long time because, you know, as far as I know, the current standards as far as having a mammogram done aren't until your 40s. I'm in my mid-30s. And, you know, the research on that is kind of back and forth anyway as far as the effectiveness of it. Does it catch things early enough? Um, that sort of thing. But thermography, what it does is it gives you a chance to catch things before it would even show up on a mammogram. And that, that is as far as I understand it. Um, so I wanted to, to just see what my baseline was, you know, here at 34 years old. So I went to have this scan done, and um, it was a very pleasant experience. When the doctor was going over the results with me, one of the things that she asked was, what kind of deodorant do you use? And I looked at her because I knew exactly where she was going with this, because the scan that I had done was just from the waist up, and so I knew that there had to be something in there that was showing a problem as far as my underarm areas and I told her you know I knew that I needed to do better but that most of the time I use conventional deodorant because all the natural ones I had tried up until that point and this was in February of 2016 they weren't doing a good job and she showed me on the scan and I wish I still had the pictures of it to show you but the only problem with the entire scan was that the areas where my in my underarms where all you have a lot of lymph nodes in there that was bright red and that showed inflammation and she said your lymph system right there is really clogged up and the thing that she recommended me to do there were actually two things the first she said you have got to get rid of that deodorant you cannot use that anything that contains aluminum you cannot use that it's just it's it's clogging everything up and it's you know it can in the future cause problems so i stopped using that and i went through a whole bunch of deodorants and i will post a card below where you can check out the one that I'm currently using that is working well for me. And then the other thing that she suggested that I do that to help correct the problem that I had with my lymph system was dry brushing. I had briefly heard of dry brushing on YouTube, but I didn't know anything about it. And I purchased just a, a brush similar to this, not this one. The one I purchased at, I think it was Walmart or Target, was not nearly as nice as this. And, and I started using it for a while and I kind of got out of the habit. And that brush ended up breaking the, um, the handle, which this is supposed to come off, but it never would stay on that one. So um, I got this brush probably two weeks ago, and I just wanted to go over with you what dry brushing is, what are the benefits of it, and exactly how to do it, because it's not difficult. I will link this one in the description box below. I really like this one. The handle is so much better than the other one I had. Like I said, it comes off. And this one has like a little strap on it so you can just hold it on your hand like this and do areas like your arm. Um, and then when you need to get to your back if you were, or if you wanna do the lower part of your legs, you put the handle back on it and then it's really easy to do that. So you, when you do dry brushing, that's exactly what you want. You want to be dry and you want your brush to be dry. And the reason that people dry brush, there are several. My main one is to um, to stimulate the lymph system. You want to get that moving because unlike your heart, your lymph system does not have a pump that gets things going. The way that your lymph moves is through your movement, basically. And so if you sit around a lot of the time, if you're just very inactive, your lymph system is probably pretty stagnant and that will contribute to disease in your body because your immune system doesn't work as well. So for me, that's one of the main reasons of doing this. Dry brushing also exfoliates your body. It helps to, um, it helps to remove toxins. When done consistently enough and over time, it is said that dry brushing helps to uh, reduce and even eliminate cellulite. Now, I am still working on getting into a habit of doing it um, frequently enough and for a long enough period of time that I will let you know about that. Um, it can also, from what I've read, help to tighten the skin. Um, and if there's any other benefits that I am forgetting, I will post those down here. 
and you can read about that. But this is the easiest thing to do, guys. The uh, way that I have incorporated this into my routine is that in see. our house, our bedroom is on the opposite end of the house as the water heater. So when I go to take a shower, it takes several minutes for the water to get hot. So I use that time to get the dry brush and to go ahead and do this. It can take, you know, you can do it quickly so that you do your whole body in two minutes. If you really want to take your time, you know, you can do it up to 10 minutes. Whatever you want to do, fit it in your schedule. If you want to do it once a day, twice a day, just as much as you can, and you're going to experience the benefits from that. So I start at my feet, and I'm not going to give you a full demonstration of it, but I work up. When I'm working on my arms and my legs, I generally take the handle off of my brush, and I just use it like this, and I will start at my fingertips, and I will go all the way up to my shoulder, and I use really long strokes, um, I use, I guess, medium pressure. You you don't want to do it so lightly that it's like you're petting a cat, but you don't want to press down so hard that your skin ends up red. If it's pink, that's okay. If it's red, you've pressed too hard. But I use long strokes all the way from my fingertips to my shoulder, and I just do the entire arm like that. I don't do, you know, little little strokes like this, long strokes on my arms and my legs. Um, now, I have read that whenever you're doing like around a joint like your elbow, your wrist, your knee, you're going to do circular motions like this. Um, and you always want to brush toward your heart. So with your arms, you know, you're going in this direction. With your legs, you're going up. And any areas of your body, like for me and probably a lot of women, it's my thighs. Anywhere you have cellulite, you may want to spend a little bit of extra time on it there. When you get to your stomach, you're going to do a counterclockwise motion. The doctor who did my thermography scan said you can dry brush your breasts. So what I normally do as far as my upper body goes, I don't do my face. They make a special brush just for your face. But I do lightly. I use a little lighter pressure on my neck than I do the rest of my body. I'll go from under my chin all the way down um, the breast area in the chest and you know up underneath and that sort of thing. When I'm doing my arms, I make sure to get the underarm area because I want to get the lymph system in that area really moving. Um, but for me, it probably takes anywhere between five to seven minutes to do my whole body. When I get ready to do my back, I put the handle back on and I just go in an upward motion on my back. I have found that doing this, your skin is going to be so much softer because you're going to be exfoliating your entire body every day, ideally. So my skin is really soft. I have less blackheads, like where you sometimes, some people get blackheads on their back and other parts of their bodies because we exfoliate our face and we don't tend to exfoliate, you know, your back or your legs or whatever it is like that. So all of my skin is so much softer. It feels so much better. And unfortunately, I have not gone back to have a repeat thermography scan done. I was supposed to do that somewhere around August or September. They wanted us to come back at um, six months, but by that time I was pregnant and I knew with the increased blood flow and the way things happen during pregnancy that um, that would kind of change things. So that wouldn't show my true baseline from having one scan when I was not pregnant and another scan when I was pregnant. So, but having, you know, the fact that the doctor who did the thermography scan mentioned dry brushing as the number one thing to get the lymph to get the lymph system moving and to clear out those toxins that I had accumulated from years of using, you know, the conventional de antiperspirant deodorants that just clog everything up. Um, I think dry brushing is an awesome thing. So check the description box below where I'll put the information for this brush and um, I may link some other information on dry brushing down there. I believe on this website there is information on there that you can read as well. So you can let me know if you have any questions about this. I think it's great. If you um, currently do dry brushing, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. I know it can seem a little bit weird, but once you get started, it's kind of something that you like and you enjoy and it becomes a part of your routine and your experience. So check that out. I highly recommend it. And if you currently use a conventional antiperspirant deodorant, I urge you, please, check out that video that I linked in the card about the one that I'm using now. That stuff with the aluminum and all the other ingredients in it, the, the conventional antiperspirants are just, I think there's too much controversy about them to really feel like they are safe at all. And there are options that work. 
Um, I know a lot of the natural ones don't work, but there are some that do. Um, so check that out. And if you have any questions on that too, let me know. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please do that. I would love to have you here on my channel. And until next time, I will talk to you later. God bless. Bye.